Hi everybody, welcome to an evening with Sips. Tonight, we're gonna play some Project Zomboid. Aw, shit. Um, this is a zombie survival game. Um, it's an indie game. You can download a demo on the on the Project Zomboid site and play it. Uh, it's an alpha. You can also alpha fund it on Desura. Um, I'll put the link in the description so that you guys can uh, can try it out if you've never heard of it before. If you played it before, um, have fun laughing at me because um, I haven't played it that much, but I, I played it a little, uh, and it's pretty fun. Let's uh, let's do the tutorial first, and I'll show you what it's all about. Um, so I'm just gonna go choose a story, and uh, we're gonna do till death do us part, uh, which is the uh, historically the uh, the tutorial uh, level, and and the only level for for a long time actually. Um, I played this a couple of months ago, and uh, and it hasn't changed an awful lot since. But I think they're more actively uh, developing and releasing updates and stuff for it now. So um, it'll be it'll be nice when this is actually done. It's a great game. Um, so basically, this this game is uh, is the story about how you die during a zombie apocalypse. I guess it's inevitable. Um, although a lot of us like to think that you know. We'd, uh, we'd be okay, but uh, probably um, the odds are that you know you, you'll get either infected and turned into a zombie, or just outright killed. Um, maybe like in an accident, you bump into like another survivor and they accidentally like blow your head off, maybe stab you in the heart or the neck by accident, because you know shit happens like that um, when people are panicking and stuff. So um, so this is us. This is our dude here in the blue blue sweater. And we're talking to our, our wife, Kate, uh, who's been injured. She hasn't been bitten, but she, she fell down, I think, and broke her leg. And, and there's just blood all over the goddamn place here. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty isometric, a bit like the, uh, the first Sims game, graphics-wise, I guess. Although, I don't know, the graphics aren't terrible. They're quite nice. You use W, A, S, and D to, to move your dude around. And... Uh, you, you can you can sort of interact with anything that highlights. So you know I can click on the bed, which does nothing. I can click on these dresser drawers, which show that there's nothing in there. And uh, if I hold shift, I can run too. So I, let's check out what's in here. So we got a sheet, and we got a pillow. Um, I, I'll do this after. I'll do the tutorial now just to show you how the game works, and then uh, and then we can sort of uh, do that the sandbox thing in a bit. Uh, and basically that that pillow has something to do with it. Uh, you can skip the tutorial basically by smothering Kate with the pillow, which we won't do right now. We'll do that after. Um, but if you want to actually do the, the uh, tutorial, we need to um, sort of see to Kate, make sure that she survives, uh, or, you know, we can patch her up anyway. And, uh, and we got this quest manager here, so we can tend to Kate's broken leg. Uh, and to do that, we need to craft some bandages. So we got some sheets. Uh, which we can make bandages with. So just open this little crafting thing, shove the sheets in there, and then boom, eight bandages. That's all we need. That's all we're ever going to need because um, we're probably not going to survive very long. So now I can just click on the bandages, click on Kate, and look, she's all patched up. She's ready to go. So she's just going to tell us how grateful she is that um, she's laying on a bed, for one, and, um, and, and that she's bandaged up. And, uh, and, now, uh, and now Kate wants a pill. And... Uh, not not birth control, obviously. This isn't the time or place. This is uh this is a painkiller. So here we go, Kate. Here you go. Take one of these. You'll feel better in like two seconds. I'm sorry I fucked up, hun. God, she's got a filthy mouth. I screwed everything. Wow. It's uh that's not the time to admit to that. Um, you know, we're 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 fighting for our lives here. We don't want to hear about your infidelities. It's um we're going to have to hole up here for a while, uh, which is fine. You know, we're going to have to do that. Uh, she can see a shed in the yard somehow, even though she's not looking at the window. She's actually looking sort of at me. Um, and she's she's saying that I should make this house into some sort of fortress. Um, and I'm... Oh, third fortress this week. Oh, yeah. We make a lot of fortresses, me and Kate. Um, so basically, I have to go investigate the shed and see what's out there. And uh, I'm going to run because, um, you know... These are desperate times. You gotta run, run your ass off when there's a zombie apocalypse, and that's just what I'm gonna do. So here I go out into the backyard. I haven't seen any zombies yet, but um, I gotta secure the safe house, secure the safe house, and uh, to do that I need to find a hammer, and uh, also some wooden planks and some nails. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna fortify the house, just like on The Walking Dead, because uh, that's the way you fortify stuff with pieces of wood hammer and some nails so we're gonna um 
start with the doors and then work on the windows. And, uh, well, before we do that, we got to equip the hammer. So I can just open my inventory, take the hammer, shove it in there. And, uh, not only can I use it to, um, to secure stuff, I can always use it as a weapon too. If I hold control, arms the hammer, and then I can swing this mother like there's no tomorrow and, uh, and knock people's blocks off. And that's always nice too. So, you know, you can turn around and swing the hammer. But uh, we don't need to do that too much now. We're going to barricade the safe house. So I'm just going to open my inventory, the wooden planks, and then click them on the doors. Here we go. Fantastic. We're nearly safe. Let me do all the windows. I'm not going to let any of these bastard zombies get in here. And look, I'm hungry now. I'm peckish, actually. I need to have a snack. No time for snacks, though. We got to get this place secured. Because old Kate up there is uh, is useless. She can't even run or anything. So if we get overwhelmed, well, she's going to get left behind. So here we go. Just going to barricade up this door. And uh, we also need to go in here. Oh, we didn't want to do that. Want to put the planks back in there. Got to open this door. And we see we got to barricade these windows too. Because, uh, you know, the zombies can crawl through windows. Um, that's not strictly true, actually. But um, you know, they can try, I suppose. Here we go. Just gonna open this, and uh, I think there's a. Oh no, there's nothing in here. We're good. We're, we've secured the whole house now. Everything has been barricaded. Uh, so we'll go back up to Kate and tell her that we're safe. Let's close the door. Oh god, she's um, she's really sarcastic for somebody who's um, wholly dependent on me to uh, to survive. But um, but you know she's right. At least she's not a zombie. And um, thank God for that. That would be a tough tough call to make actually killing your uh, significant other if they turned into a zombie um you know if you watch the walking dead or anything there's there's a point in that series too when when that situation came up and uh it'd probably be pretty hard but not for our hero here this guy's a cold-blooded killer he's ready to um he's ready to kill anyone he's ready to do whatever it takes to survive um so case just saying that we're gonna have to sleep hungry she doesn't want me to go outside at night and we can see the, the clock here is advancing a little bit and, uh, God, when the hell are we going to wake up? I guess we're having, like, a really long sleep. Um, I can also increase the time. So there we go. Boom. Nine o'clock in the morning. God, we had we actually had to sleep in. And that's pretty good. I miss the days when we didn't take a hammer to bed. Oh. I think you always took a hammer to bed. As long as I was on the scene, anyway. Ho! Oh. Anyway, if you see one of them, just run. No man stuff. Roger that, Kate. Well, actually... Um, I've got a hammer right here, and uh, I'm going to ice ice some of those fools if I see them. Um, so i got to go find some food now, and uh, in order to do that, i got to leave the house. See, this tutorial is very good, isn't it? It sort of teaches you how to do stuff. And once we're barricaded in, we got to use a hammer to, uh, to remove the barricade. So let's just remove this from the door. There we go. Shove the hammer back into the equipment slot, and we're out. Roaming around. God knows what's out here. I'm a bit scared. Well, not really, actually. And uh, we're going to carefully approach this house to the east because it, it's telling us to do that. And uh, always close doors when you when you walk into houses. That's rule number one uh, for a zombie apocalypse. If you're ever going to go into a building or something, always make sure you shut the door behind you because you don't want those bastards following you in there. So anyway, I can hear some moaning and groaning, so there's probably a zombie in here somewhere. Um, but we're just going to pilfer all the, uh, all the stuff out of this house that we can, because there might be some good stuff. Oh, I don't want to sleep on the couch. And uh, we'll just be, oh God. Yeah, here we go. It's time to rumble. Oh yes, that scared the shit out of me, by the way. But, um, we iced him, he, he got the jump on us. And uh, as you can see, we're slightly panicked. We're trying to stay calm and uh, and now we're hungry. So, um, but that's okay. We got into the kitchen here now. So let's just investigate these cupboards, see what's in here. Oh yeah, there's some soup here. Good old tomato soup. Campbell's tomato soup. That's exactly what it is. It even looks like uh, the real thing. Okay, here's more soup. Anyone leave anything in the oven? No. And uh, we'll check the fridge. See if there's anything? No. God, this place has just been like picked clean. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's head back to Kate and tell her that we found some soup. And um... It's telling us to go back to the kitchen, which we'll do, and uh, we'll make sure that we rebarricade this door as well. Um, oops, not with us on the outside though. Here we go. Don't want them to get the jump on us while we're trying to cook up a feast for Kate. 
So, um, there we go. There's the plank back. And, uh, see, I'm yelling now. We got soup. Think you can manage that? Ho ho, Kate. Pretty funny. Ha, this kitchen is pretty beat up, but I think I remember. Oh, yeah. Okay. So here we go. Get a cooking pot. And there's got to be one. Oh, yeah, here we go. There's one in here. Let's just make sure there's no soups laying around, because, uh, you never know when you're going to need a soup. Anything in the oven? No. Okay, cool. So, open my inventory, open the crafting thing, let's get one can of soup, let's get the can opener in there, and let's get this cooking pot in, and boom, got ourselves some soup. Shove that shit in the oven, turn the oven on, and there we go, it's cooking. We gotta be careful though, um, oh, Kate's telling us that, uh, this piece of shit radio picked something up, uh, and it's, it's telling us that Knox County... An army, and there's some camps. Oh, God, yeah. Somebody setting up camps with them. What the hell? Relatives, citizens. Okay. So we're, we're getting a, a bit of a clear picture of where we are and uh, and what's what's happening. Um, it sounds like we we'll tried to return home, but they were forcibly dispersed. Uh, the president has made a statement, I guess, to remain calm. Oh, here we go. The soup's ready. Let's turn this oven off. We don't want to burn the place down. And uh, soup in our inventory. And uh, now we can go back up and talk to Kate. No fly zone communication. Okay, cool. So here we are. We're ready to uh, ready to eat our soup. And actually, I'm just going to eat the soup without Kate. Kate's dying anyway. So if I just grab this cook pot of soup and I, um, I click it on the heart here. There we go. Boom. I'm fed. Healing and strength boost. Fantastic. And uh, I, I polished that. I actually licked the pot and everything. Look, it's like totally clean. Kate's just sitting there looking at me mortified, thinking, oh my god, I was hungry. I could cook her another one. I got two more cans, but I'm not wasting those cans of soup on Kate. I mean, look at this. She's still bleeding badly. She's just going to bleed out eventually. I'm going to have to just like move on. Become some kind of wandering nomad or something and, you know, figure figure things out for myself. So I'm going to waste some soup. And, oh shit, door's open the hell's going on down here just gonna uh oh who's this it's bobby collins oh don't move unless i say so look just camped out here what an aggressive bastard he's actually holding a shotgun to me bobby collins here i was just out in the street heard your radio oh damn it kate the radio gave us away what are you thinking we should have gone out into a field somewhere and let's do it okay well, I'm not going to argue with the guy that's holding a shotgun to me. He's telling me to go upstairs, so I'm going upstairs. I'm not messing around. Into the room. Okay, well, I'm in the room already. Stand against the back wall where I can see you. Okay, I'm standing against the back wall where you can see me. Oh my god. This guy looks crazy. So how y'all doing? I heard you downstairs. Okay, you're so... Your powers of observation are amazing. We've got nothing. Just leave us alone. You ain't got nothing, darling. You got bit. Oh, shit. Bobby Collins. It's not a bite. She just fell down and hurt her leg. What are you talking about? It's not a bite. It's a break. See? We're, we're trying to tell him. We're trying to explain to him what's going on. We're running from you. From your people. She fell. Oh. Ah, so there's more to this story. Bobby Collins has some people. Sure looks like a bite from here. Uh, well... Bobby, what are you, like some kind of doctor? You don't look like a doctor. First of all, a doctor I don't think would dress like a biker. Um, or, although maybe. I mean, there's there's got to be some biker doctors out there somewhere. All right, so Bobby's just saying that uh, he likes this house and he's going to take it. That means he's going to clean out the infected trash. Wow, he just actually called Kate trash to her face. Wifey dies in three seconds, bald spot. Pay attention. All right, I'm paying attention. I don't really know what I can do other than yell, you asshole, no. Three, two... Oh my god. He... Wow. He just blew Kate's head, like, right off. Now, did I say I'd fire on one or after one? Wow, Bobby. We're really, really impressed. Oh, okay, well... That was, uh... That was the tutorial, anyway. Bobby Collins has iced us both and taken over the house. Survived for one day and six hours. Not not the best, but I I think that's where the tutorial is supposed to end. Although I'm sure people have killed Bobby Collins uh, and survived past that. But um, 
let's spend a bit of time playing the sandbox mode now because that's also fun and uh, in, in the current state of the game you'll probably be spending most of your time trying to uh, <laughs> survive longer for one day and six hours in sandbox mode so let's uh, let's jump into that and uh, I quite like the tutorial level I know there's some other levels that we can play well this blank canvas one um, I haven't really tried that and I don't really know so it's up to you guys if you want to try it or not um, I'm quite happy to until death do us part again and uh, this time I'm, I'm just going to smother Kate with the pillow, skip the whole tutor tutorial, and uh, and then I'm going to go off on my own, try to make it. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. You know, if, if, I, if I end up breaking like a world record for surviving, I probably won't record the whole thing because uh, I don't really want to sit here and play this game for like 10 hours right now. But um, I just wanted to record a bit, show you guys what it's all about. And if you hadn't heard of it, uh, make you aware of it, because it's a great game in its current state, and uh, it's only going to get better, I think. So, um, so here we go. Just listening to Kate waffle on for a bit, and uh, now we're going to tell her that we're going to stop the bleeding. We're not going to tell her, though. Um, we're going to go get a pillow from the wardrobe, and, uh, and we're going to suffocate her with it. Um, it's probably for the best, because, you know, Kate, Kate, Kate's not going to make it. She's, she's just... She's not in any fit state to make it, so let's uh, open up the cupboard here and uh, get the sheet. Oh shit, where's the pillow? This could scupper the plan. Oh god, I can't highlight this thing. Fantastic. Here we go. Oh, here we go. There's the pillow. Great. Okay, so back over here. Open up the inventory. Grab the pillow. Take that, Kate. What are you doing? Oh god, no. Sorry, Kate. Sorry I slowed you down. Oh, God. Make us feel bad about it. Oh, Christ almighty. Well, that was not the best. Uh, but Kate's dead, and we don't have to worry about saving her now. Um, we just killed her with a pillow. And um, desperate times call for desperate measures. You know, we're, we're trying to survive out here. We're trying to survive a zombie apocalypse. And, uh, zombies only increase in, in, in number and intensity at night and stuff like that as well. So, um, we got to start making preparations early on if we're going to survive. So I'm just going to see if there's anything. Oh, yeah, here we go. Can opener in the pot where where we expected it. And, uh, oh, yeah, let's go out into the back and get some hammer some hammer and nail action going, too. We need the uh, those wooden planks, too. I'm not really planning on barricading myself into a house, but um, you never know. If, if things get desperate, I might. So here we go. Grab all this crap. Let's get out of this garden. Oh, my God. Let's equip the hammer too, just in case. So we got our, all of our clothes and stuff. <laughs> We've taken a picture of Kate with us as well, so that we can remember the woman that we smothered with a pillow. Oh god, that's pretty morbid. But um, but there you go. That's the way it goes. And uh, everything's got a weight as well in the inventory. So when you start picking up guns and stuff like that, um, they weigh a lot. And you need to be careful. Okay, there's probably going to be a zombie in here, but... Uh, We'll ice him and steal some soups, because we know that there's some soups in here. Is he in here? I oh, don't know, he's not. Maybe he's in the bathroom. Or maybe because I smothered Kate, there is no zombie in here. You in here? Nope. Oh, fantastic. We got the whole house to ourselves. We can have a party. We can invite all our friends out. No, we can't do that. All of our friends are dead, probably. Uh, nobody's in the mood for a party right now. Everybody's too worried about um, collecting soup, cooking soup, and, uh, and eating soup, because everybody's starving. Uh, society's just completely gone down the shitter um, because all these zombies are all over the place killing everyone and um, unlike uh, my, my other series for Adam Zombie Smasher we, we don't have artillery in this game we don't have like fart canisters Not we don't have any of that shit we're on our own we gotta figure it all out for ourselves god this is a big house so here we go we're just gonna rifle through all this junk here okay there's nothing in there though Oh. I can hear someone. I can hear a zombie. Oh, there's two in here. Christ almighty, let's get out of here. Alright. Take this. Yeah. Take that. Oh, there we go. One down, and get back here, you son of a bitch. Oh, shit. Can't quite hit him for some reason. He's not. doesn't want to. Uh... Oh, there we go. Gonna get. Oh, yeah, there we go. That was a bit hairy. Okay, so we're in a slight panic. And, uh, not the best. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here. Oh, this is a big fancy house. Just close the curtains on the window here, just in case some zombies decide to come by and uh, and sniff me out. 
So we got a kitchen. We got uh, got a table and some chairs here that we can't use. And a whole bunch of pop cans on the ground and a bag of chips. A couple of bags of chips, actually. It's of whoever was in here to just leave all this crap on the ground. Let's see what's in here. Oh, more nails. I don't think we need another can opener, though. Um, let's put that back for now. I don't want that. Come on. Ah, uh, here we go. Battery. What else? What else? What else? Come on. Maybe a gun or a cape? Some kind of backpack? God, a backpack would be... Okay. Um, we need to find somewhere to sleep now. And uh, sleeping on the couch in this living room is probably not the safest, safest bet, really. We're going to have to try to get to that bigger house. So uh, it's getting dark, and we're going to have to make a run for it. This could be risky. But it's going to pay off if we can find a proper bed. And, uh, oh god, it looks like this house door's open. What's going on in here? Oh god. It's like a it's like a crime scene in here. Look, this guy's dead already. Lots of zombie, actually. It's not really a crime scene. Probably figure out what happened there. Um, and it's probably not zombie on zombie crime either. Uh, although, um, if it was... Could have been fighting over food, to be fair. Oh, here we go. Some carrots and some uncooked salmon in here nothing nothing okay nothing else in here let's make our way upstairs to the bedrooms so that we can get some sleep i have to eat something too but luckily i have like tons of bags of chips so we're just gonna uh we're just gonna totally pig out on like pop and chips and, uh, and hopefully that'll do the trick what's in here check out this wardrobe uh, there's some sheets Oh, and a nice new sweater. Fantastic. A yellow sweater. I can put that shit on right now. Here we go. Let's see. Where's the yellow sweater? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Boom. Oh. And actually, if I wanted to, I could just run around with no pants on. And uh, it might make me run a bit faster, actually. So let's try that. Just shove these pants in the wardrobe here. There we go. We don't need these pants. I'm gonna walk around in our box shorts, because we can it's the end of the world. Who cares? Nobody gives a shit about anything anymore. We're just going to walk around in my underpants. And uh, actually, I'm going to take a sleep too. So you want to sleep? Yeah. Speeds up time. Or, well, it should speed up time. Or crash the game. The game might have just crashed. God knows. But, um, oh my god, I hope the game hasn't crashed. That would suck. It is possible, actually, that the game has crashed. But, I mean, to be fair, this is a demo... Uh, well, according to the screen here, it says it's a pre-alpha tech demo. Um, so, oh, no, we're back. We're back. It hasn't crashed. Um, I just didn't sleep. Or no, I did sleep, actually. It's 5 in the morning. I'm still hungry. Fantastic. Sorry about that. That was uh, that was close, actually. It's like on the, on the uh, seat of my pants there. Wondering if we were going to come back and get the game back. But that's good. Okay. Like I said, let's eat some chips. Here we go. Eat these chips. Oh, look. I'm not even hungry anymore. Let's drink this diet pop, too. Mmm. Oh, yeah. We're slightly fed now. That should be fine. So we're going to uh, we're gonna brave the outdoors again. This time, pantless. And uh, and let's see what's going on down here. Can we get in here? Oh, yeah. Usually a lot of the doors are locked, but for some reason this time they're not. So that's good. So we can just spend a lot of time rifling through other people's belongings. Because they don't eat them. Oh, shit. Here we go. It's hammer time. Oh, yeah, here we go. He's dead. What was he doing in this bathroom with the door closed? God knows. Okay, let's see what's in here. Anything useful? No, wooden door, some curtains, and a bed. We don't need that bed, though. We just had to sleep. We're slightly panicked, but, um, God, this house is pretty boring, actually. Is there any food in here? Probably not. I think that zombie just ate everything. I think that was a pen. We don't need a pen. Though. What the hell are we going to use a pen for? Send a letter to our pen pal? I think that's... I think it's a bit late for that. What's this? Oh, it's like some bar or something. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Supermarket. Oh, we'll get some ma magazine, some more pop cans and beers. Oh, look at this. Bread. Oh, God. Yeah, we just hit the jackpot. We're all over this. Uh, what's in here? You got to be careful walking through some of these places because the doors in these big buildings the doors could be open on the other side and the zombies just sort of start seeking you out in the end at the moment they're like a bit tame but, uh, but before long see somebody left the door open here they could have wandered in and they could have iced me let's see what's down here oh my god son of a bitch get away from me I can't even see him now oh look at this see they're starting to they're starting to increase in uh in number now but we'll uh we can just stop and just Murder this bastard. Here we go. Come on. 
Oh no, he doesn't want to be. He doesn't want to be hit. He's running away. He's uh, more interested in looking at the wall. And I can't actually. Oh, there we go. Can't actually hit him. But oh, there's the bank. And uh, look, there's a bunch of them stuck in the bank. I, I probably can I get in here? Oh yeah, I can get in. Sweet. Let's uh, let's go get some money. Can we get some money? No, probably not. We're gonna have to kill these guys. Oh my God, there's another guy out there running. Hopefully, he attracts some zombies away from us. Come in here. No, he's not going to. He's running the other way. There we go. Oh, we're all over this. Oh, I can't get into that other room, though. That's where the money's at. Ah, oh, forget it. We don't need any money right now. Let's run down this alley and see what's down here. Oh, God, look at this. There's, like, a forest with the woods and stuff. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Get out of my way. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what's up here. Oh, there's, like, a store there, too. Oh, God, this, this might be the, the one. I might find a gun or something. Oh, a gun would be good. I think the sound that the gun makes, though, like, uh, will attract them. Oh, look at all these nails and stuff. Door hinges. Oh, we need a screwdriver, actually. Let's grab that screwdriver. That's good. That's a good store. What's in there? Oh, God, that looks good. Look at all those boxes. Maybe we can, like, move them around and make... Oh, it's locked. I think you can, uh, I think you can jimmy the door sometimes, but I think you need the screwdriver. Let's try that. Screwdriver on the door. No, it didn't work. I don't know if you can use the screwdriver as a weapon, but it'd be pretty sweet if you could. All right, let's run up here and see what's up here. The town's actually quite big, and you can't just run around endlessly either. Oh, look, somebody's somebody's dead. Let's see if we can steal their stuff. Steal his credit card. Come on. Let's see. What has he got? Wooden plank. Oh, and nice white pants. Oh, hey, look who it is. It's Billy. Come on, Billy. What are you running away for? I got my green sweater on now. Where are you going? Let's follow him. Yeah, take that, Billy. <laughs> oh, hey, look at all these guys are just like hanging out in a field out here. Who's this guy? Morgan Freeman. No, Kevin Edwards. It's not Morgan Freeman. What's he doing out here? Kevin, what are you doing? Yeah, take this, Kevin. No, I can't quite hit Kevin. Here we go. Let's uh, let's steal his pants too. I I miss those white pants. There we go. Aw, oh, sweet. We're like Leisure Suit Larry now. Look at this. All we need is like a helmet or like a cap or something, or or golden. All right, carrying on my quest to survive, and um, you know it's probably not not the nicest thing that I just did there, killing Billy and, and Kevin. I you know I could have talked to them and said, hey guys, come on, let's um, let's let's get a car together and go out and uh, and find some sort of farm and and live there for a while. But no, what's this guy doing? Nope. Oh no no, oh. I think I've got too much stuff. Oh yeah, heavy load and oh, moderate exertion. I gotta watch it. Here these guys come. Come on, take some of this. Right in the face. Oh yeah, I want to use this pot machine. Oh look at this, potato chips. Fantastic. Go out into the forest and eat some chips. Oh Christ. No, there's a lot of zombies coming now though. And I think. Oh look, we've done we've done the whole round. Look, we're back. We're back to the house that we started at. Go up and say hi to Kate, even though she's dead. And, uh, as you can see, there's quite a few zombies around now. Um, they're sort of converging on places that I've been. I guess they can hear me or something. Oh, I didn't like getting hit. Oh, he's a tough bastard. Three hits. Four hits. Oh my god, this must be a boss. It's Bowser. Oh no, he's dead. Wow, that still took like five hits. And look at my guy is just slowly walking now. I'm going to have to like get rid of some of this stuff. Oops, didn't want to do that. Let's uh, let's get back upstairs. I'll dump all my shit into the closet, and we could probably end there. I don't want I don't want to die. Um, but I like I said I also don't want to replay really this game for like hours on end either. As fun as it is, if if I had time, I definitely would. But right now, I just want to show you guys. Oh look, this the sad music. Hi Kate. What if we can take her clothes? No, we can't. Maybe we can just give her these pants though. There we go. Here you go, Kate. Have all my clothes. I'm sorry I killed you. But I hope these shoes and pants and, and this sweater makes up for it. And uh, just for good measure too, uh, just in case, let's let's also give her a couple of bags of chips and a um, can of pop. And just in case, what else can we give her? Let's give her this cooking pot too. She can wear it as a helmet. Actually, I need to try that. Can I wear it as a helmet? Cooking pot? No, I can't. All right, Kate, here you go. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. 
Okay, well, that was it. That's Project Zomboid. Um, like I said, you can download a demo and you can play this. I don't know if it's timed or anything. Um, I, I Alpha funded this on Desura. I, I, I paid $7.99 US uh, for it uh, because I, I want the full retail copy when this is done. I want all the updates as they come out as well because this is a good game. Uh, it's a lot of fun to, uh, to run around and try to survive and see how long you can survive for. Um, so, yeah, as usual, I hope you enjoyed that. And... Um, Links in the description if you want to try it out, and uh, I'll catch you uh, later.